Hello everyone and welcome to our first playthrough of France. Um, today what we're going to do is we are going to solidify the alliance between Germany and ourselves as well as perhaps gaining a friend from up north. So what we'll do is we'll play the games. Mm, they offer shared intelligence for share map. That's a good trade. I don't plan on taking the Netherlands during this game. Um, send out an I agree. Um, so with the Netherlands on our side, it seems that we are good. Now we're going to start off in research. The French research is really, really good. And I want to dissect some of the infantry um, tablets that we're going to go for here. So the motorized attack is 8.3 damage and the merchandise mechanized is 7.5, but that's for only level one. More than that, it takes the daily upkeep is very, a, a pretty big amount and not so much for the mech. Now moving on, I have none of these filled out, but you can go to a higher level with the motorized. Now with the mechanized, the highest one is 19, at, uh, attacking and defending, and for the motorized, it's also 19. So we start off with higher right here, but I think that the uh, work should be good. Um, Spain sends us. Um, okay, so we have to pick a research slot here. We are going to go for mechanized because I want to play a mechanized game. Even though the production and the upkeep is going to be a little iffy in the beginning, once we solidify our research, it should be perfectly fine. The next slot we're going to go to is going to the SP artillery. Regular artillery, let's say level 3, can do 2.8 damage, 5.5 to armor. SP, 5.8 armor, level 1. SP is so much better, so much faster. I mean, it's unbelievable. So we're going to go for SP along with mechanized and try to get some uh, good uh, or um, good production. In the news, oh, looks like the Japanese are attacking China, which is fine. We're used to that every game. Uh, it looks like Germany has remained completely normal. Um, let's see here. They have Spain in their alliance. Now, normally I don't like to join a super coalition, probably for some uh, good example, but I believe that, like, this is the best that we're going to get. We either get to join... Oh, okay, it's full, it's full. That's that's perfect, that's perfect. Perfectly fine. We have a non-aggression, or share pack. Share map with Spain. Share map with the UK. And not Germany. And that's really, really antagonizing me right now. Um... Just... Form up a little bit more. Now, in case he does not move, we're going to move our troops. Uh, very possible. Uh, I mean, we're going to move them off the Italian border. And we're going to move them closer to the Maginot. Next, we are going to construct some fighters, and we need some interceptors to deal with the German, um, the German Air Force in the Maginot area. Even though we have the best fortifications possible, we still need to keep it 
um, keep it nice and good in the skies. So we'll put one and then industry is so important on building industry. Paris is going to be our huge metal supply. I do see um, goods being an issue at 346 an hour. I do not like the sound of that. So we'll try to make, try to build some industry in places where there's very little Bordeaux we need industry. I want to focus on the Navy probably a bit late game. All right, from Germany. My allegiance is with my ally no matter what. Our complicated, <laughs> our complicated past or, um, does not define who we are ATM. Imagine if you just hear that from an actual French representative to like a German diplomat. ATM. <laughs> I wonder if they actually did use like some sort of like antonyms nowadays. Um, so we're going to talk to Italy and we're going to say we want some land because that's where we're going to go after first. I was thinking of forming perhaps like a Holy Roman Empire of sorts, but led by France. Um, so... Let's see, we gotta, I really don't wanna check newspaper. <laughs> um, I'm scared of what's in there. Uh, so I think what we really could do is build some anti-air and anti-tank because even though they're really annoying um, to like have that as your defense, it really is important um, to have that. Now we're not going to upgrade our infantry. Level 3 infantry is perfectly fine. Um, so that'll be fine. Our food production needs a little bit of a boost. So I'll add some industry in there. And I must add a very important thing is that in places like your core provinces, those are the places where you want to build the most. Like... You may say, oh, Oran has some good productivity on, like, the iron. But compared to F France, or Paris, uh, Paris, who has the daily production, has doubled the production wise. Uh, I, I need another good example. Algier, 636, right? And Bourgeois. 2,500 and there you may say oh just because it has one industry no they both have the same amount of industry it's because it's not a core uh, product a core um, state that you will not gain the um, the good as good enough production you can see that there is a non-core production penalty minus 75 percent of your goods so um, I'd say that you really only want to build, if you're in a, a nation like the UK, where you can, uh, keep, like, keep your core territory, it'll be fine. Um, I'll wait. I'm not gonna join a coalition led by the Dutch and get completely just blown off by the Germans. Um, I think once we build these ordnance factories and we start producing some SP artillery, that'll be a really good movement. So at least we have the choice of building whatever we want there. And I don't want this to be a heavily tank game. I mean, I definitely want to go for medium tanks and some tax or attack bombers um but i think that the push is really effective in the 
uh, SP and mechanized. But we will build a tank plant here because we have very little inside of mainland France and Europe is a good area to have it. Um, Dutch being a little impatient, that's fine. More industry, I, just, I mean, all we're doing is just trying to gain as much industry as possible. In a game where you're trying to please um, the Soviet Union and the UK and go against Germany and you fear that you might lose your mainland territory, I would highly consider investing in your resources down here because there's just so many provinces that they have to get through. And your, and your research at the beginning is just unbelievable. You get massive amounts of research. Um, for the Allies, there is decreased production times, which is perfect. Decreased research times and cost, which is really good. Next would be the decreased unit speed. That would be the only bad part, which, I mean, is fine. France is a very good nation, um, like infrastructure-wise and all that. Um, there is an infrastructure button, but now display province names. Now, okay, so, um, so yeah, so I think this will be the video. Um, we just started it out, and we're just kind of building up mainland France. Um, I'll do some off-camera diplomacy just to secure that uh, German piece, but other than that, I think that we are pretty much all set. Um, thank you for watching the first episode. Uh, see you guys next time.